I think that the key point is to recognize that it does exist, whether you're female or male in the workforce. Uh, we all have it, it's human nature. So the first piece is being self-educated or being informed via your human resources department or your learning and development team. One is not establishing what your culture is all about or really emphasizing that you're an organization that takes diversity and inclusion seriously. And, and diversity, while we're talking about women, means many other things as well. It could be ethnicity, it could be age group and so forth. But if we're just specifically talking about women, it's making sure that the women have enough information on your organization through your website, through your social channels to understand, you know what, this company sounds like a great place for me to explore. Let's learn more. There are multiple ways to do this. I mean, if I think about an organization, it could be about their benefits or let's say the flexibility they offer. For some women today, especially if they've gotten to a stage in their lives where they have a family, it's about flexibility. It's about having the autonomy to work when, they're, when they can and, um, and not be obligated to put in you know, 20 hour days. You can still put in the time, but maybe do it in a fashion that enables you to take care of other errands as well. So it's about giving them that kind of flexibility. When it comes to other benefits, it could be around, okay, is there maternity leave? You know, is there any other, uh, are there focus groups in, in, you know, internally that I can join and, and, be, and relate to?